All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again here on Topper Tuesday. What I have to talk to you about today is a rebuildable tank atomizer or also known as an RTA, rebuildable tank atomizer. Do you see how that works all together? This, this is the Zephyrus by a Chinese company named, I could never pronounce it right. Yud, Yud, Yud. I'm calling them Yud. Anyway, this comes from Yud. This is an RTA, rebuildable tank atomizer. Eh, it's pretty good. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty rocking. In order to get to know it just a little bit better, I'm going to show we show you how I personally wick this and fill this. Uh, it's a little jumbled, but we'll get there when we get there. Uppy closey time. All right, yeehaw. Well, let's spend a little bit of up close and personal time here with the Zephyrus RTA. I'm just going to disassemble this from top to bottom. J wick it, juice it, put it all back together. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to notice there's adjustable airflow on the bottom. Big airflow right there. Big Cylon style slots that you can close off to. Oh, if you're Plumes of Hazard, you'd probably close, well, you'd close it off all the way. You just turn the airflow off. But I like to rock it completely open. Very nice lung hits. This does pop off and this airflow ring stays on there very, very well. Stays on there nice and just pop. In fact, it's almost like seamless right there. See a little bit of a seam, but yeah, it just pops off just like that. Additionally, the top unscrews. And what you have on the top is this little sort of silicone gasket right there that you pull off. You don't have to use tweezers. That's where you fill it from. You put your juice nozzle in there and you just fill it up. Juice goes in one way, air comes out the other. It makes for a very quick, easy, and painless filling system. So the whole thing does come apart, just like this. It's very k funish I mean, not in not in airflow. Well, I don't know why I said it's very k funish A lot of these are very, very k funish this is your glass tank. This is the top cap. This does not separate right here, but when it's all together, this is what screws into the little chimney there and holds it all together. Let me pop this other O-ring out of here. Now, when you buy this, it comes with three different sets of O-rings, and I've been rocking it with the blue ones, but let's say, hey, I don't want the blue ones anymore. I want clear. Where's my clear O-rings? I'm gonna grab my, okay, well, I'm gonna need my tweezers now. I'm gonna grab my clear O-rings and rock it with a clear O-ring now. It does come with an extra glass tank. It comes with spare everything, spare O-rings, spare filling port covers. It has a heat sink for the drip tip and it comes with its own drip tip and Yud loves to do these like swirly tornado marks on the inside of all their drip tips now, which I don't really know what the point of that is but they like to do that so it comes with its own drip tip additionally its own sort of heat sink for said drip tip uh, if you want to use it and sure we'll use it so I'm gonna throw I'm gonna not gonna throw these away I'm gonna put these away and I'm gonna replace them we're gonna go with the the clear o-rings the clear grommets rubber grommets on there and this is the RBA build deck on the inside that's what it looks like. There's a lot of airflow coming from the bottom because you have a lot of airflow coming from the bottom. Just like that. And what you have to do when you build this is build, you have to build close to the coils. You can't build out. The uh, diameter on the inside of the chamber is very, very narrow. So you have to build very, very close to those posts. You have to build a nice little dual coil, you know, center build kind of right over the airflows, but still very close to the post holes. You don't have a whole lot of room in there. This little chimney cap that goes on here, no, there's not a lot of room in there, especially when it's all said and done. Once you get your wicks in there, it's a very confining space in there. This does come completely out of the base. And because uh, Yud actually sells their own uh, coil heads that work on this, unfortunately, they only sent me one coil head. So I was able to use that one coil head. It did work really, really well, but it uh, started tasting weird and got burnt out and ended up getting thrown away. So I've been using the RBA base ever since and it's been working great. Big airflow comes right from these big airflow holes right there. So yeah, this goes into the base, very easy to uh, put all together, very easy to screw this down onto something and to, to build your coils on there. So what I'm gonna do 
is replace the O-rings. Actually, first, let's, first I'm gonna wick this thing. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to wick it, and I'm just gonna show you the easy way that I wick it. One thing that you'll notice on here is the juice channels right here, these, these are the juice channels, they're inter, intermixed with the threads. So what I was doing was I was wicking it and trying to get the cotton wet and sticking it down in these little juice holes and then trying to screw this on. There's actually a much uh, much easier way to do it. I don't like mixing cotton wick and threading. I think that is a, uh, I think that's a terrible idea, but thankfully they have a two-piece chimney design, so you don't have to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna wick this right now. And it's always a good idea, even when you're just re-wicking, to make sure that your coils are still working and glowing evenly. This is using a 24 gauge anarchist wire and it came out to, oh no, this is using 26 gauge anarchist wire and it came out to about uh, 0.3-ish ohm. So it's gonna be nice and warm for me, but yeah, just make sure your coils are glowing evenly before you go to, uh, before you go to wick it. All right, so I got my Japanese organic cotton and I'm just rolling it in my fingers throughout the length of the cotton. And what I wanna do is focus that rolling uh, on the ends, obviously, so you can be able to wick that through the coils. Cut this down the middle and then slide it through. Yeah, pretty much so you end up something like that. Now we're gonna cut this cotton very, very, very close. Oh, just as close as you possibly can. Just as close as your scissors will allow you to. So what we're gonna do is push these up and then pop that top on. And once this top is on, then we're gonna take our tweezers and we're gonna kinda uh, just press it down into those little juice flow channels. And this is much easier to do after you have this top on than before. So what I would normally do on a normal day is I'd take my juice and I'd get these all nice and wet and soggy and then I'd use my tweezers and press the wicks down into these little into these little chambers right here, into these little juice flow chambers, and then you struggle with trying to screw this on. That's not the case anymore. What we're gonna do is just lift these up, and we're gonna get these up and inside before, and then screw it down, and then tuck it in afterward. So much easier. So we tucked them up, they're protruding from the top, I'm gonna screw this down all the way. So you can see there's juice flow, juice flow. And now what we do is we take our scissors or we take some tweezers and we just press these wicks back down toward those juice holes. In fact, I probably could have cut these wicks even just a little bit shorter, but this is actually gonna work really, really well. I'm gonna press these wicks down into those little, down into there, just down into there. Leave some space, but press them down towards those juice flow holes. Because what's gonna happen is when you take a drag, the juice is gonna go up and touch the cotton and soak into the coil where it needs to go. And then when you stop taking a drag, that juice is gonna go back out into the tank. It kind of has this little tide pool effect, as I like to call it. But there we got cotton, we got wicks, and uh, now we're gonna juice it. And all I really do is just dump a fuck ton of juice in there and I let it absorb I let it soak in and it'll soak in to all the cotton that you stuffed in there so when you press the button that's right vapors will happen all right so now that we got the tank built wicked and juiced we're gonna put it back together and like I said I'm gonna swap out those red o-rings for some clear o-rings I'm gonna put one o-ring on the tank just like this super easy to do if you're not an idiot like me other one goes on very much the same way. So now we have two fancy little rubber gaskets on there, silicone gaskets. First one goes down over the tank, over it just like that. Second one goes up into here and then it screws together. It's a very snug fit. And then that screws together into there. So it all screws together. Screwing together, screwing together. Well, that sounds worse than it should. Whoops, that did not screw together. All right, well, despite my horrible screwing together song, it did actually screw together. And so now we can pop this top off of here and now we can fill it with juice. And remember when you're done filling it with juice, you're gonna need to, boom, pop that little, little gasket, little whatever you wanna call it in there, plug juice hole fill plug. That's the official name of this now. So I'm gonna take my juice, and this is a big bottle of juice, so I have a feeling it's gonna get 
Oh, it's going to get messy. I'm just going to squeeze it in here. You can see how quickly and easily this fills up. Have a have a rag, uh, have a rag handy, because it's going to get. I mean, you're going to get juice a lot of different places. There's going to be some residual juice kind of sitting in there, which you can easily remedy with a uh, with a paper towel, just like that. Good stuff. Good stuff. And then this pops back on there, plugs those holes. Then this screws on here just like that, holds it in place. You now, congratulations, have a full Zephyrus tank with coils and wicks and juice and everything. So we put our drip tip on here, we put it on a mod and we vape it. So now let's get back out to normal view and let us vape it. Normal view, normal view. So yeah, the flavor on this is really, really good. It's a very, very nice flavor. It crackles and pops like an atomizer does, but you have the luxury of having a tank above it. And the way that I wick it, I have not got a dry hit. I just, I just haven't got dry hits. There was one time when I wicked it and I just used barely enough cotton to just fit inside the coils and it just leaked. It just leaked like crazy. The best thing to do is do it like that. Cut the wicks, bend them up, Put the cap on, stuff them back down in there because every time you take a drag, juice is going to go up into that chamber, it's going to touch your wicks, and then it's going to flow back out and hopefully that that juice will get to your uh, will get to your coils. This has been holding up very, very well. I've been chain vaping it with that wick that, with that I just showed you and uh, it's been great. I haven't had any dry hits. I've only had nice, pardon me, I haven't even had any beer. Stuart? Are you slipping me beer? Haven't had any dry hits. I've only had nice performance. This came out to uh, 0.3-ish ohms, and I've been rocking it on a mech mod. I don't feel like it needs any more wattage. It's been really, really good. There you go. That's for all the people that complain I don't vape enough in my videos. Sometimes I just get talking, you know, and I forget to vape, even though they're vape videos. I just forget sometimes. So that's plenty of vaping for you. Now, how, mu how much does this cost? This one came directly from me. It's easy to build. It's easy to wick. I've, got no I've had nothing but a good experience with this tank, and I really like the filling system. I like unscrewing the top. I like taking this little grommet out, and I like dumping my juice in there and putting it back together. It's just a, it's just a really great system that works really, really well. $28.95, do you even need your bait, bait budget hands? $28.95, that's like two bottles of juice. Or you can get a brand new uh, RTA that will, work, uh, that will work really, really well. I really like it, nice swooshy airflow. It's not quite like atomizer style airflow, but it is for an RTA, very, very nice and even and swooshy feeling. I really like it. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. This was this <laughs> closing credits. This was the Yude uh, Zephyrus tank. Uh, MyVaporStore.com has them in stock right now, $28.95. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, let's keep on vaping. That's enough. There were a couple. Okay.